Hello guys, welcome back to ingvid.com. Today, I'm doing a little lesson on if I had known. So this is a structure talking about something that happened in the past that we would have done differently if we had known something, if we had more knowledge at that time. It's useful in, in a work as well as in a social context. And I'm gonna be looking at examples of different verbs that we can use with this phrase, if I had known. Okay, let's get started. Well, this is uh, what Barry said, okay? So notice the, the, the speech marks. This is the actual words of my friend Barry. If I had known that Chelsea were playing at home, I would have gone to see them. Okay, if I had known that Chelsea, so he's here, he's in the present, and he's looking back to a point in the past, and he's saying, if at this point here, he had, he had known that Chelsea, a football team, were playing at home at Stamford Bridge, he would have gone there. But at the time, he did not know so he didn't, he did something else, okay? If I had known, I would have done something else. So at that time, Barry did not know that Chelsea were playing at home. So he made a different decision. Now, the form that this takes, we have if plus our subject. In this case, I, it's Barry, the subject, had plus past participle. Here, it's known, okay? But we can use lots of other past participles uh, with this phrase, the had and then known thing. Okay, so what do we use it for? Well, it's used to talk about how a decision would have been different in the past. So I'm sure you can all think of examples of times in your life where if you had done something a little different, life would have maybe being a little bit better, okay? Um, my top tip for you, you want to try and lead a life with no regrets, okay? So, so make lots of good decisions, don't worry, okay? Because it's easier to think about what we didn't do than what we did do. So take action, get involved. Now, here are some past participle forms of verbs that are good to use with this phrase. So. Let's go, Let, let's do some together. If I had seen Barry, I would have given him his ticket. Okay, so if I had, past participle, seen, and then the rest of the phrase, Barry, I would have done this. Okay, if I had caught the ball, we would have won the cricket match, okay? It's the same structure again, if I had and then would have. If I had caught the ball, we would have won the game. If I had gone to the stadium, I would have seen my favorite player, okay? So seen again is in the past tense. Invited. If I had invited more friends to my party, we would have had a brilliant night, okay? If I had in the first part of the sentence and then would have in the second. If I had invited more friends to my party, we would have had a better night. Good. Moved. If I had moved to Tokyo, I would have had a very different life, okay? So this works in two parts. If I had, and then our little verb, and then the result, what would have been different, okay? It's not too complicated. Now, been, is, is, is an interesting one because we can use it with different emotional states. So if I had been kinder to Billy, 
he might have been happier. Okay, or if I had been more bold, I might have gone to New York. Okay, again, these two parts of the sentence. If I had spoken, okay, so it's just in the past tense. If I had spoken to my friend, he would have come to the football match. Okay, we could use decided here for Barry. If Barry had decided to read the newspaper in the morning, he would have gone to the football match. Done. If I had done my homework, I would have done better in my test. Okay, so we're here, we're in the present, but we're looking back. We're looking back at the past. If there, I had done more homework, okay, we'd have a different, different outcome, different result. The result is better in the test. And last one, if I had taken the quiz, I would have learnt more in this lesson. Okay, folks, I would encourage you now to log on to ingvid.com if you're not already there and have a go at doing the quiz. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you do want a little bit of extra help, why not look on to the Facebook page, Exquisite English. I hope today's made sense for you. What I've tried to tell you is that this is a two-part phrase, looking back into the past and then how life would have been different. Don't forget to use if, subject, had, past participle, and then it's normally followed by would have been, okay? What the result is. Do hope that helps. Don't forget to use it in your own lives, okay? Maybe you can try and use it today. If I had, I would have, okay? Try and use some for yourself. Well done, nice to see you.